I thought I would show you just a quick video on how I made my own barrel cooler. Now I've used pretty much every other barrel cooler on the market. Uh, they can be a little pricey. I mean, I think they're worth the money uh, for the most part because they typically have a very small form factor, things like the magneto speed, the chamber chiller, stuff like that. You know, they, they typically are very, very small. Some of them use little CPU fans, um, you know, and I, I think to whatever degree they all work uh, pretty well for what they are. And I believe almost all of them will count as an empty chamber indicator, except for some of the ones that are black, which won't. It has to be yellow or red technically to be counted as an ECI or an empty chamber indicator. So uh, th the truth is I just haven't been happy with the output of any of them. Uh, the Magneto Speed is by far probably the best manufactured one out there. Uh, at the end of my barrel, I have a 32 inch barrel, at the end of my barrel uh, with a brand new set of batteries, it blows at about three and a half, maybe uh, four miles an hour if I put my Kestrel in front of the end of the barrel. So uh, not bad and, and it'll definitely cool my barrel between strings but I just wanted something that was more aggressive. So I went on a hunt and picked up probably half a dozen different, um, so these are little inexpensive mattress inflating pumps that you can find on Amazon and other places. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below if you want this. Uh, this is literally like $11 or $12, and it comes with a variety of uh, pieces that can snap on here or here. And this particular one was a little bit longer uh, and I just cut it so that it would have more airflow. It just snaps on and snaps off. I went to my local Ace and picked up uh, about a foot of tubing, you know, this entire piece, which I cut in half. Uh, this is just airline tubing. In fact, it says air hose quarter inch. Uh, it's heat sensitive up to about 180 degrees if I remember right. So I thought, well, that's great for inside the chamber where it gets you know, probably close to that hot at times, at least 140, 150 degrees for sure. And, um, and then I, just to make things a little easier, went ahead and took a piece of brass, sliced off the back, and uh, I had to sand down. So I took this and sanded it down a little bit. Uh, I had to remove most of the red on this and then just inserted it into, uh, into the piece of brass here. And that just gives it a little better fill, but really I don't have to, uh, I could just go ahead and stick this in the, in the chamber and work as well. So all I do now is take this modified piece from them, put it on my 50 cent piece of hose and get it nice and tight. I have an old piece of brass that I was going to throw away anyway. And now this just lives in my range bag. So I take the, that piece, I put this, I put this in, in here and I can zip it up and it just fits in my range bag real nice and easy. As far as battery goes, this is rechargeable. It uses a USB-C. Some of the other ones I tried were micro USB. Um, this is probably for me the best combination of size and power. This will hold uh, 45 minutes of charge. So technically if I'm on a day where I'm shooting four strings, which is not very common, usually it's just three strings, but let's say I'm on four strings, I can dedicate 15 minutes of blowing time to each of the three strings. And then after the last string, I don't necessarily care about it too much. But even if I went 10 minutes per string, uh, I would get some uh, cooling factor after the fourth string. Uh, I've tested it multiple times. The charge runs out right about 45 minutes and it stays blowing about the same speed throughout the entire 45 minutes, which I think is great. So uh, as far as noise goes, it is about four or five decibels less than the magneto speed. I put it through a, a decibel thing. Uh, it's a slightly lower tone, but here you go. You hold down the button and you can hear it. So is it stealthy? No, uh, it is not, but it does the job. Now this pump, when measuring the same way that I measured my other ones, blows almost 11 miles an hour uh, wind speed out the end of my barrel. So about three times anything else I've owned. Uh, here is a real quick video. I kind of sped it up a little bit because who wants to watch paint dry? Uh, but here's a quick video real quick uh, about me doing it on the line one day.
What brand of brass? So as you saw there, uh, my, my heat strip ends at 140 degrees. Now, I know my barrel was warmer than 140 degrees. Uh, so it took 10 minutes to get about a 20 minute cooling effect just on the, the actual gauge or you know the, the temperature strip that I had there. The reality is it probably came down closer to 30 or 40 degrees in that 10 minute time, which is a huge uh, cooling factor. Uh, and it was about 80 degrees outside at the time. Obviously, it would take longer to cool in hotter weather. Uh, but compared to anything else I've ever used, that's about uh, two to three times faster uh, in terms of how long it takes to cool. So uh, if you're looking just to do something on the cheap and actually have it be a little bit more effective and don't mind the extra noise uh, compared to a few of them and on par with some of the loudest ones, uh, this is a great way to go. Uh, you know, just something to do that will get the job done and maybe it helps you guys out. So hope you guys are doing well. Talk to you guys soon. Have a good one.